Doge, Elon, Mars people, welcome to the Pathway Checkup series where we'll take a look at how the Pathways did from the last video. Definitely check that out if you haven't seen that. Today will be short, sweet, and straight to the point and let's go ahead and see how the Pathways did. And it didn't quite follow it as I wanted. We did have some drops here and there. Going into end of July, we dropped to 3104 and then went back up and then kind of had some drops. Found support around 3104. But in August, mid-August, we were able to hit one of the targets at 4277 right here, which is a good sign. I'm not always going to be perfect, but I definitely want to help you guys stay on the right side. It's currently pulling back at 3501 as we speak, kind of lining up with this green pathway as we head into end of August to September. So I want you guys to know that I'm not just randomly just drawing these pathways. There's a lot of research, thought, confluence, and a lot of techniques that goes behind the scenes to hopefully help you with your game plan. Definitely rewatch as needed. And once these pathways are invalidated, which is getting kind of close to, I'll definitely make a brand new Pathfinder video series with fresh pathways and new targets as needed. We are pulling back as we speak, kind of following this green pathway. So what could happen really quickly is we could pull back going into end of August. By end of August, finding support around 3055 and then going into beginning of September going sideways and then working its way back up rallying hitting that last target we got at 4277 with this wig working our way back up from there lining up with this relief rally I've been speaking about for so long another way this could go we could retrace a little bit further lining up with the green pathway in blue you've seen there going into September as I made the pathway in green and blue there could go all the way to 2438 possibly 1704 and I was saying before if that happens that could be a great chance to reaccumulate from there we'll get a nice bounce to the upside going into fall and the end of year roughly okay, okay it looks a little bit funny but you get the point those are a couple ways it could go let's go ahead and go into today's technical indicators starting with the RSI Right now, the RSI is curling and trying to hold support at the 50 region. It did top out back in August 14th at 63, lining up with this green candle we got there. It looks like it's trying to do something like this. We test those highs that we've got back in August right there at about 63. It's possible it can make a lower high. You could do something like this, making a lower high getting rejected from there. Right now, we're kind of waiting for confirmation. We're kind of in no man's land as of right now, being in the middle. All right, so that's for the RSI. Let's go into the second indicator of today, the second technical indicator of today, the Stotch RSI. There is one thing I like about the Stotch RSI for Doge Elon Mars. We are currently having the yellow line trying to cross above the blue line. And when that happens, where the yellow line goes above the blue line, that's a sign of possible bullish momentum at least on the short to mid term and meaning price is trying to reverse it could be also a fake out though it is very possible on the short to mid term it can cross above and price can kind of go up but it's very possible it can cross above and then kind of fake us fake us out or trap a lot of buyers and then go back down as well so we have to be a little bit cautious about this going into the future especially if you're trying to trade this on the short to mid term i'm definitely going to be updating um, as time progresses for doji on mars so definitely stay in touch and the last indicator of today is the volume and the volume I'm not liking how it looks there's just too many red candles the sellers are in the lead right now at 634 billion we've been in the red for the past four days it is possible of course that this can change and turn into buyers but right now with putting everything together with the other technical indicators and the different techniques I use for my analysis it's kind of looking like at least on the short to mid term we just need to refresh and reset for doji on mars and there's a gap with the volume as well meaning that there's more possibilities if this stays in the red more sellers to come in to drop the price at least on the short to mid term but because it's such a small gem cap it's very volatile it's easy to switch back to the upside so things can go 
quickly for Doji on Mars and that's why it's a little bit tricky to match up with the pathways especially with time and price. We have to see how this goes. I am excited to see where things go for Doji on Mars. I think there's a lot of upside. Definitely let me know below what you think will happen next for Doji Elon Mars. Go ahead and comment where you think it's going either on the short term, mid term or long term and share any amazing or exciting news about Doji Elon Mars below. If there's any nice updates or news, definitely go ahead and share with the crypto celestial community. That's about it. May the gains be with you. See you in the upside in the next update. Thank you so much and peace.